Hi, I'm Robert, and I want to thank you for taking the time and looking at my YouTube videos, talking about my my wife's uh, recovery or just, I guess, condition of her uh, post-care and development after her Warnickies experience. It was nearly three years ago when she developed Warnickies and now has Korsakoff's dementia. So, uh... Just wanted to kind of give you guys a yearly update so you can know that she is still alive and well. She's been uh, doing really good. I keep her at home. I've actually gotten to where I can leave about two, three hours a day without any worry. And I don't leave every day, but just when I need to do things to kind of keep us afloat. <clears throat> um, it's been just over three years that she had Warnickies. She is uh, doing very well physically, doing pretty well mentally. One of my primary prayers was that she would actually learn her abilities and limitations and be able to function within them. And definitely she's uh, beginning to get to that point. Um, last year I did an update video. I don't see it posted, so I'll try to dig that up and get that posted as well. As I was saying, my wife is doing well. It's just been over three years. About a year and a half ago, we had to move out of our home that we was in, and we moved into an apartment. I was a little bit concerned about her abilities to adapt to the apartment. She actually uh, seemed to adapt better than I did. I have a problem with the noises and the commotions around the complex, but that doesn't seem to bother her at all. And she actually encouraged me a few times to be comfortable in our new location. So that actually went better than I expected. Uh, for about three months after the move, she kept wanting to return to our home. She didn't remember that we had moved. I would take her to church on the way home from church. She'd want to go to the old home. Like I said, that went on for about three months before she quit being confused every time we left home. Then it gradually drifted away to where she now has accepted our new location as her home. We live in the city that she's familiar with, so it wasn't like she was in a total foreign place. She just didn't remember that we had moved. So now that we've moved, uh, there's been a time or two where she's interacting with the community, like at Bible study or some other instance like that. And somewhere along the road, about six months into it, somebody actually asked her for her address, and she didn't know it. So she was wise enough and uh, sharp enough to get her wallet out and give them the address off of her driver's license. So she's brilliant enough to do that and you know like I said before she's very intellectual very smart so it's just her short-term memory a little bit of the uh, chronicles uh, as you were to, that we've been experiencing over the last year is that uh, you know she still has short-term memory issues uh, one instant she's a little bit more comfortable with going to the doctor she's not as resistant about that She's gotten to the point to where if I don't have her vitamin capsule daily thing filled up, she would offer it to me to get filled. And at some point, I didn't get it filled quick enough, so she went and filled it. Now, she totally maintains and fills her own vitamin uh, capsule thing, which she takes the uh, Citricale. And she takes a centroid for uh, a, a thyroid that's supposedly not functioning well. You know, I'm at the point where I wanted to get her thyroid tested. I think it may be functioning well because of her supplements and things that she takes. I don't know. I have to see how that goes. I'm going to talk to the doctor about it. So she's actually filling her own vitamin thing. Uh, a couple of other things that she was doing, she began doing, whenever my daughter came home. We have a daughter in college. She actually came and stayed the summer with us. In my wife's attempt to make my daughter think that she's doing well, my wife started doing things. Uh, my daughter talked her into beginning to exercise with me. I try to walk 
three, three and a half miles a day. So my wife began walking with me. Uh, she began to do the dishes every once in a while and actually started trying to do laundry for the first time. Well, that was a little bit disastrous because she was taking my work clothes. I've picked up doing little odd jobs to try to make money for us. And she was taking the work clothes and mixing them in with the good clothes and ruining the good clothes. So I kind of slowed her down on that and now she's picked back up the pace and she's doing laundry as often as she wants. I don't resist her from doing it. She's got a couple things that she likes to wear so she washes those things every other day or so. So she's doing laundry too much but I'd rather have her doing laundry too often than not at all. Another thing is that weather got a little cold here, so she backed off of walking. Hopefully, she'll resume walking with me when it gets warm again. Now, uh, one thing that she's also picked up within the last couple of months, when my daughter came back home for Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas, my wife actually started doing the dishes to impress my daughter. Now, she goes in the kitchen every evening just about. She rarely misses, and she takes care of cleaning up the kitchen and does the dishes, and that's uh, taking a little bit of responsibility off of me there. So that's really good. Now, uh, there's been a couple of times during the year where my wife is... Uh, starting to figure out that she's forgetting things, so she started writing things down on her own. One thing that she wrote down is she wanted to go see the newer Tyler Perry movie that came out. So one thing that led to another, and this one day she just kept saying she wanted to see this movie, wanted to see this movie, and my daughter was in town, so my daughter said, hey, let's go see the movie. Well, we all went to see the movie. It happened to be on one of my wife's normal to bad days. We sat through the movie. I could tell my wife was having problems following the storyline. But one thing that really just really took the wind out of my sails is while we were leaving the movie theater, my wife looked at me as she held my arm and she asked me, did we like the movie? Boy, I tell you, that brought a whole new perspective to if I want your opinion, I'll ask you for it. So that kind of floored me, and I, I didn't like that. It was a real sad situation. So I decided that if we ever went back to the movies, that I would monitor her and make sure I took her to the movie on one of her good days when she could remember and follow the storyline. So a couple of months ago, she wanted to see the movie Lincoln. And... I watched her for a few days, and a couple of weeks went by. Then she appeared to be having a good day. So I told her, hey, let's go see Lincoln. And we, I took her to the movies. We watched the movie Lincoln. Even though it was a long movie, she was able to follow it because she was on one of her good days. And she enjoyed the movie. She talked about it for a couple of days. And then four or five days later, she didn't really remember if she had gone to see the movie or not. But... I know she enjoyed the movie because I took her on a good day and she didn't have any problem watching it and enjoying it. So that was a good thing that I learned about how to get her out to do things that takes longer than an hour or two that she can enjoy. So now I know how to take her to watch a movie. Uh, another thing that she's done, she is so used to her routine, so comfortable and happy with her environment that she appears to function very well. If, if I don't get up and make breakfast at a certain time, that's, that didn't really bother her. She goes to her Bible study that I take her to. She's happy. And now, uh, lately, over the last three or four months, she's actually starting to uh, try to cook things again. I promise you, this was probably the best day of my life. Uh, it definitely the best day in the last three years. I would say it's the second best day of my life. <laughs> but on Thanksgiving morning, the day before Thanksgiving, my wife seemed to be coming into some kind of clarity, like she was about to have a, big, a good day. We had things prepared and ready to make Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving morning, she woke up in a great mood and in a good position of clarity. She actually prepared Thanksgiving dinner 
that morning, and by noon she had in Little Rock, and we came back home, and we ate dinner, and she forgot something, wasn't no real big deal, the, the muffins or something, she forgot to warm up. Anyway, we had an absolute wonderful day. Her mind was as clear as it ever gets. She was able to quote. We was able to exercise. It, it was just a fabulous day. I just was really thankful to God for that m m that day. It'll probably be forever in my mind. It was the best day we had had. And, and but you know, short of my daughter's birth, that that day actually ranked a little bit higher than my wedding day. So great day, and, uh, and she's doing very well. Uh, I'm able to get out a little more and, and hustle odd jobs. And today is actually the second longest day that I've been away from her in probably two years. Uh, one day was some guy hired me to deliver a car five hours away uh, from Little Rock to Dallas. I drove the car there. I left in the middle of the night. So when she woke up, I was already gone. I talked to her when she woke up. I immediately had a ride back to Little Rock, so I was gone about 11 hours maybe, uh, 10 or 11 hours, and she didn't miss me that much. I wasn't sure if she had missed a meal. She might have missed one of her two meals, but it wasn't the end of the world, and she was pretty comfortable when I got back. So, you know, things are great as far as her physical condition, her peace and happiness, and her ability to function around the apartment. And I'm happy that she's happy. So uh, the next year, we might make another move to move closer to one of our family members because my daughter's about to graduate college. And, uh, and I'll maybe do more frequent updates. But there you have it. My wife is alive and doing well. And, you know, we're, we're, we're making it so it's possible that uh, you guys that uh, do the kind of care that I'm doing can see a brighter day. So leave me a question or a post or anything if you like. Thanks again for watching the video.